All right, guys. It's been a bit since I played since the last recording session, but uh, we're in the post game now. Uh, I think there's only a couple things left, so I'll just do whatever's left in the pit. Because there has to be something there. Because otherwise, why would they give me a chance to warp to floor 50? That doesn't make any sense, unless there's something new there. And then also, there's some troubles, although, I mean, they're not worth doing, but... I'm just gonna do them just because, for completionist's sake. And we're back with all our partners again. Is Lumpy still here? I guess I could talk to him and look at his journal, because I don't think I've ever read this. Oh, well, that's very nice of Lumpy. He makes money and he gets to help the people that he loves. Okay, get a ease up on his greed there for a bit. As long as he doesn't tell Buzzard that he's Mario, he, he shouldn't be in any trouble. You can say he's Luigi, but can't say he's Princess Peach. We'll see through that. Colorado. It's the second time he's referenced in this game. Oh, that's where you get a, I think it's a super block to upgrade your partners. This is how you upgrade your, your partners in that game. I think all you need to get Mustafa is like a lime or something, and then they help you out. <laughs> Gotta just get more lime. There's a tree there that gives you a lime. Okay, yeah, he did get the lemon and limes then. It's pretty good too because it'll prevent you against scurvy. Although it's not really a thing you have to worry about now in modern times because most people get citrus fruit. Unlike back then where citrus fruits really weren't plentiful back then. I forgot that Mer 
Uh, is my lovely told him where to go to get this? Where to get the oil? Men in the field? I thought he was working solo. Or maybe he got Colorado to help help him. That's it. Thanks, Sulpy, for the story. Um, let me see if there's any more Luigi books. There's one here. Coming soon to theaters. How many, uh, books is that? Two, three, four, five. I think there's two more, because there's one for each crystal star, isn't there? And there should be seven crystal stars. Yep. Oh, wait. Must have been stuff we... Oh, look at this. very nice. I do like uh, the lighting here. Oh my god. I thought this was pretty cool, but I like this with the lamps uh, a little bit more yellow. It really adds, makes it more moody. That's pretty cool. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Also, Triple Mario. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Oh, wow, look at that Mario. That must have been a, like a beta version of the Mario design. Kind of similar to um, Paper Mario. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> That's so crazy. I like how <clears throat> the colors kind of go negative. That's interesting. See, it, um, here... I like that the sky is a lot darker here, but the lighting is all is incorrect there. This is nice. Um, yeah, I prefer this better. Obviously, this it is numbered here, so the sequence goes one, two, and then this. But yeah, it didn't get that dark from what I remember, unless I didn't remember correctly. But yeah, the sky was not as dark as this. Kumbella and Mario. <laughs> so this looked more like it was a cave than anything else. Yes, it didn't really look like a cave. It just looked like the city that was there. So look at this architecture. That's a really cool. Is that like an organ? <laughs> That's kind of cool. That could have been cool if they had like a little organ puzzle. Oh, look at Crump. They got him when he's uh, four eyes. Also, this is supposed to be... Uh, Grotus? It's like a kind of cool design if, if Grotus had a second form. Also, I like how Peach and Mario are like, what? Oh, I like how that's like a more mage form of Grotus. I do like that king form of him. All the x not designs. Hmm. I do like the sailor one there. Let me see if I can zoom in. I do like that one. To be honest, I just wish they had more x knots 
these guys look like uh fawful inspired designs especially this one with the glasses that's definitely like fawful inspired This one looks like you'd see this one out in the desert. Kind of like a Mad Max kind of character. This one reminds me of a Shy Guy a little, or maybe a Sniffit. It. It's a really cool uh, designs. Let's check out the special stuff. Oh, so th this is if they were going to go with like Origami King style. Because uh, in that game, he has a white outline. Um, I don't know how I feel about the white outline stuff. I guess I'm just so used to root to the TTYD and 64, like just hard, darker color outlines. I prefer that a lot more than just the white outline. Though, I can see it working in some games. Oh, wow, look at this one. So you can actually see the 3D models. That's pretty cool. Oh, so they had the, uh, the flat version, which was the original. Then they made a thicker version. And then I think they had a thinner version. And they had it more look like cardboard. That's pretty cool. Oh, they got the hazard stuff. Oh, that's really cool. Maybe I can get this to be the thumbnail. That's a really cool thumbnail there. Oh, more Origami King Mario. Oh my gosh. That'd be cool if, uh, you get 100% in this game, and you unlock that art style. I know I was complaining about it before, but it's kind of cool to get that as an unlock. Oh, <laughs> look at this, Mario. <laughs> I like that. That is cool. Also, like the little toad peeking out. That's that's cool. Oh my gosh, that looks really cool. This makes me want to print it out and just do a little coloring book. So I do see a <laughs> hooktail back there. This is really cool art. Pretty sure this is like one of the covers in the game. Yeah, look at this. This is really cool. More of like a watercolor design. And then a more... I don't know. Is it crayon or... Because they did watercolor art in 64 for like the partner stuff. And they hear... I like that. I like both of them early. Also, this is supposed to be Battlemaster, I'm guessing. Kind of like the <laughs> little mohawk, but it's a little weird coming out from the toads. Also, I kind of like the uh, material or texture on Mario there. <laughs> and it's the outlaws. I wonder if you're going to see them in the game if they actually model them. They could be like secret boss fights. That'd be cool. Alright. Um, I guess this is all the music that we unlocked. Oh, I guess uh, Bone Tail will on the music will unlock in the special part, right? So, is this gonna have a hint towards what I might be fighting in the pit? Or see in the pit? I 
I like this song. Wasn't this... I think this song was in the trailer when the game was announced. Super Luigi? Oh, the music for his levels... Or his, uh, story. I like this music. I think I think I said it before, but like I made a song that was kind of similar to this. <laughs> Bowser's Malaise. That's a perfect name for this song. For a second, I thought upper levels meant the deeper you go, but I guess it makes sense that the lower levels would be the deeper you go. Wait, Battle Extra is different than Hooktail's music? That's interesting. I thought it was the same. Yep, there's somebody I gotta fight. There's one thing I kind of wish they did with this uh, sound gallery, is that it would like s let you see the duration of the song, and maybe make your own little playlist to listen to. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, uh, let's get started with those troubles. <laughs> Got kind of sidetracked with all that content that we just looked at. I guess we could talk to Frankly. <laughs> now he could tell us what the thing was. Let's have Goombella out. It was a dread shroom. It has been there for a thousand years, supposedly. <laughs> I guess in an archaeological sense, an anthropological uh, beliefs, that's like, su yeah, anthropological. It's like super important to find out <laughs> that people were eating similar foods to what they eat now. This is a confirmation kind of thing. Doty. Um, I wonder if this is the graffiti behind the, uh... Or I don't know if it's graffiti, but like the stuff behind the board in the main Rogueport Square. I don't remember who Doty is. Oh, I don't know if we're gonna find the other partners. In the game, the N64 partners, I know Bo shows up in Poshley Heights. I guess we can go check that. But I wonder if the rest of them show up in other towns. Or if they just left it the same as TTYD. I guess we'll find out. Yep, they're still here. Oh, is it gonna play this music for each of the N64 characters then? Let's see what Goombill has to say. <laughs> Why do you care, Goombilla? Are you jealous? Uh, she's like Yoshi, cause she can be really overpowered. Wow. 
Okay, to Boggy Tree. I don't remember who these ne'er do wells are. Maybe it's the uh, outlaws. That'd be kind of cool. But I don't think I've. I want to say I've done it before, but. Because when I did the hard mode, I, I just stopped after fighting Bone Tail. So I never really did these quests. And if I did, it was probably a long time ago. Uh, does Battletoad have anything? I'd be surprised if he did. Oh, I wish you could to fight him, but... I mean, I guess they only made one new Toad fight. Where is this guy at? I thought he said that they beard neither a tree? Waiting in Boggly Woods near the Great Tree. I didn't see them. Maybe they're in this area? Doty. So I'm looking for some sort of toad. Uh, I guess I can equip a uh, bump attack. Don't know if I have it equipped, but... I don't want to worry about fights here. I might as well just do that. Oh, I unintentionally did that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Woo, 30 coins, that's so cool, post-game. Thank you, I really needed those 30 coins. That adds to my already three, over 3,000 coins already. Yeah, I really did wish that they did make these quests better, or troubles better, whatever. But they just didn't. I mean, I guess if they're going for a more, like a, like a remaster kind of thing. Oh, he's here at least. That'd be cool if like, um, since we beat the Shadow Queen, if this was like one of the legendary heroes, and then you did a quest for each of them after they came out. That'd be kind of cool, but <laughs> I'm giving a little too much credit to the developers of the game. But I did think there was a toad that said it came to there. It's either a toad or the Koopa and the Boo. All right, let's do the next quest. Uh, so one thing I think I'm gonna do is uh, for the pit I'm just gonna skip it to whenever something interesting happens or we get into whatever we're supposed to fight because I don't want to uh, make you guys watch through all of it again because this is gonna be pretty boring now that I've already went through it So after we do those quests, I think I'll do that. Also, I'll go see if there's another edition for Luigi's books. Before I go to Boshley Heights. So what do the hints say now? Okay. No, it's not there. We 
Wait, so where is Luigi? Is it- oh, I think he's in the bar? Or maybe up here. Oh yeah, he is. How many stories does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. I don't think I've read this one. Must be good for uh, plenty of people to sleep. I tried, but they only had a... They replaced it with a mushroom. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm just missing one of them. So I have... I'm not missing two of them. Hopefully they uh, refill it soon. I want to get, get them all just for collection's sake. Oh, there's Goldbub. Makes sense that he's not next to his mom. Could get a mushroom cake. I don't think I have mushroom cakes, right? I have a mushroom crepe, which is just a better version of a mushroom cake, but... Alright, well, let's go get that, I guess. Shouldn't be too hard, because I can get both of those ingredients at Ro in Rogueport. Could have just said get the Kiel Mango and then be a quick trip to uh, Kiel Hall Key, but yeah, it's fine. Bub's mom deserves the best. This is the hardest thing to collect out of those. Um, he's not filling up. It'd be cool if you had to buy them at other shops. Like each shop had its own edition. Of the Luigi books, but... Mm. So I need to buy the cake mix here. I guess I could have just done the lottery because most likely I would have gotten the mushroom. But I think that's fine. I guess my overall thoughts of the game, since I'm pretty sure once we finish this, these troubles in the pit, that's pretty much it for the rest of the game. Um, overall, I really enjoyed the remake. It added some interesting stuff to the game and quality of life I think makes playing this game fun uh, the one thing I would kind of say it's kind of annoying though is the uh, dialogue actually so I like the autocutions or the little voices that the characters do but one issue I've noticed um, from my own personal experience of making dialogue with autocutions as well is that uh, it makes if you had to skip the dialogue it kind of makes it a bit stilted uh, when it gets cut off immediately and that's kind of the reason I'm thinking that they made it so the text box goes so slow and that you can't really skip it um, I mean that's just the catch uh, with having autocutions I'm still trying to make it 
feel a bit better when you skip stuff. Because it just kind of cuts the audio immediately. And also, uh, text needs to go at a certain speed for like the audio to like seem like it syncs up. I wonder what would have happened if you gave her the fright mask. I don't think it really matters all that much, but... Yeah, but other than that, I mean, I love the music that they added to the game, and the sound effects really helps add to the, the style and humor to this game. The visuals look good. I'm sorry, I didn't do my homework. That's such a kid uh, mentality. And the jazzy part's playing. That's, that's another thing I like. Oh. I like uh, this chapter a lot more just because of the jazz music sets in it. It's so good. Bub, your mom loves you. That's just parents are sometimes. Don't realize it as a kid, but all the love and effort that your parents put into you. Uh, I think this is more of a sweet trouble than it is um, worth it, the effort that you put in, but it's sweet at least. Alright, the final trouble. Getting rid of some graffiti. Didn't know how Intensive it's gonna be, but considering all the other troubles, probably not so much. Oh, that's good. I think I did this one last. And thankfully I've already done the pit, so I can just pay the 300 coins, do the trouble, get paid 30 coins, <laughs> be down 270 coins. And if you go down the pit, uh, you're gonna make that money back. It'll say, oh, all the coins you earned through the pit, that's the rewarding of itself. <laughs> no, no it's not. How much time I wasted getting to those 50 floors? In the original, it would have been time wasted. But now, you just pay a fee and you can do it lickety, uh, lickety split. Who the heck is Swab? Oh, he said he was by a statue, right? Is it this guy? Sure can do, buddy. But you're not going to compensate me. Well, I know that already. Um, so any other things about the game? Uh, oh, wait, I should probably go... Why am I going up? <laughs> Oops. Um... I do like the way they fix the uh, fast travel stuff. That's really cool. 
all the content for collecting stuff, star pieces and shine sprites. Like how that's done. I don't know how many people actually know about the uh if you look at the map it tells you about the completion stuff here, like star pieces and stuff. Although one thing I would have liked is after the chapter's done, I know you get fast travel, but they should have just made it so that you can select this and it'll teleport you there. And you use the map to uh, get there. That would have been uh, a cool use of the map. I understand they have this, so... Whatever. If that wasn't a thing, I feel like they could have just used the map instead. Okay, I guess I'll save and then do this. Take me down, dude. It'll take me to 50, right? Not 51. Okay. This wasn't here before. It would've been cool if it was. Bobo Link. 22 kids, holy cow. Do Baboms have that many kids? Are they like rabbits or something? Oh, you know what it is? <laughs> we need to use Flurry. Oh? I'm not actually gonna let me get rid of it? Oh, you know what? Maybe Bobbery? There you go. Wait, is there a secret? Oh no, you just break it. So is this area gonna just always be broken? Hmm. Nope, Goombella. We are out of here. We've done the job. <laughs> we don't need to do it again. Well, I'm gonna do it again, but you guys won't need to see it. Okay, let me go this way. Oh yeah, the thousand year door. Will it just open? Oh, you can't go in the Palace of Shadow? Oh no, you can. I was gonna say, you can't go in there anymore? I mean, there is no point of going there. Oh, I guess if you miss some of the badges, that's the reason to go there. Also, you know what? There is one thing I forgot. Tatalog. Are we missing? We're missing two. So, whatever number 10 is, seems like something I should have gotten. And then I'm guessing the other one is whatever the secret fight in the pit is. Yep. Right after Shadow Queen. So, it must be. It's a new boss to add because Prince Mush is in here. Gloomba, Paragloomba, Spike Gloomba. Some sort of Goomba that I'm missing? Huh. I wonder what it would be. I feel like it's some sort of Goomba, but didn't I get every Goomba? I guess I could Google it, but I kind of want to avoid spoilers if it's a spoiler. Maybe his wish will come true now that I blew it up. You have to write it down and then blow it up for it to come true. Uh, that's definitely not how it works. Also, wait. Is the Babam in here, Boblinka? Hmm. 
Maybe he's not a character here. It would make sense, though, because, like, why else would he be in this town? So cool. Snow bunny. Uh, I'm gonna go to the trouble center one more time just to see if I get any special dialogue since I've completed all the troubles. I wonder if I'm gonna get like a little notification that I got anything. I call the other uh, accomplishments like the cooking and stuff like that. I doubt it, but who knows. wonder if it'll be in here? No. I guess usually if you miss stuff for tattles, it would be in there. <laughs> I suppose so. All right then, well that was uneventful. All right, I guess we'll fight whoever's left. <laughs> and then, let me see. I really hope I don't have to fight this, whatever this character is, multiple times. Cause that'll be a bummer, just having to get up that high in the pit. I mean, it's a little easier now that I'm, like, super strong. But, yeah, I really would not like to fight multiple times. Overall, I definitely recommend this game if you never played it before. Uh, it's pretty fun. Although, you if you've watched this entire playthrough, you've probably seen everything the game has to offer, so... <laughs> I don't know if I'd recommend in that case. It's kind of funny recommending the game right when I've done everything. That's nice that it doesn't charge you. I don't think it did in the original either. Alright, well, I'll see you guys if anything interesting happens or if I reach the enemy I'm supposed to fight. Also does stay here. That's kind of funny.